Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton News TFs coming at you with the final, or no, the fourth part of the Transformers Central Return Chaos and Velocitron box set. After this, we'll be taking a quick overview of all the characters. I might just put them in this video. We'll see what happens. So, anyways, for this next part, we're going to be taking a look at Quick Switch, which is, for the most part, just a straight up repaint of Six Shot. But I, I gotta say, they did a fairly good job, you know, with the paint differences. I mean, yeah, you get the exact same cockpit here, but you don't have any of the paint around it, so it kind of works a little bit differently. You got this more teal as compared to this. This is more of that seafoam green, and this is more actual teal. You got some yellow right here, some more blue, red, black, a little bit of gray here and there. Whereas with Six Shot here, it's mostly white, purple, silver, black, and green. With maybe a couple hints of red and yellow thrown in, but nothing major. So that's pretty much that for tank mode. I mean, they're pretty much exactly the same. Turrets go up and down, rolls fine. Anyways, real quick before we go on to the next mode, let's go ahead and take a look at his bio. So basically, he just shifts into anything at any random time. And his stats are pretty much all the same, all sevens. And then here, again, pretty close. He gets faster and strong and more intelligent with his headmaster, which doesn't even have a name, so you might as well just consider this his stats. Same with all these others, besides you know Rodimus and Fash Flash. So since they have unnamed headmaster, Titan Master partners. Um, so next, let's go ahead and go to the next mode on this guy. I mean, there's not much, too much more to go over. Uh, we'll take a look at the Headmaster here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and get on to the next mode. And here we go with the car mode, armored car, carrier, whatever you want to call it. Uh, pretty much the same as it was with Six Heart. So let's go ahead and bring him in. Now this time you do get to see some more different paint apps uh, applied to the vehicle. Uh, you get the yellow for the windshield. You also got some uh, white paint covering here, but it separates, uh, breaks up this, it's broken up with this green right here. And same here at the front, along with these little stickers, these little striped stickers going around the front. Looks pretty cool. And you got these uh, little blue paint apps. I don't know what the story is with those. And you get the big red grill here with the little prongs. Uh, you actually get red painted rims unlike six shot with his being completely bare I get this little red uh, radar dish or snorkel or whatever so and you get a little bit more broken up here you get the gray instead of the green a little bit of red in through there instead of black it looks pretty good in car mode. I mean, I, I, I like Six Shots a lot more. I mean, because I'm more used to this color scheme on this fold. But it doesn't look bad either. I mean, it, it's really growing on me. Um, I do wish he had the drill tank mode as opposed to just the tank. Uh, but, you know, never know. Someone might end up coming with a little piece that could just plug in right into here with the big drill on it. Or, yeah, I, mean, I guess that would work like that. Just put these around, have the treads, and have everything else straightened out. It's a big drill tank. So that pretty much does it. I guess while we're in, you can want to take a look at just the headmasters themselves. Go ahead and straighten that out. Now it is the same exact mold for the robot portion of the headmaster. But they did remold the face and we'll show that off in robot mode. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and go on to the jet mode. Alright, so with the jet mode of Quick Switch, you do get to see a little bit more, again, of those color changes coming through as far as, you know, the this, this scheme and layout of the paint. Uh, you do get the cockpit, cockpit right here, or, you know, just paint right here. It is to represent the cockpit on the original toy, which would have been actually right around here, but they, they went ahead and added the paint there because there's none here on the waist. But the actual cockpit for the Titan Master is right here. Uh, I do like the gray paint apps that they put in through the front end here. We like the red fins. Now, he, he is supposed to have bigger guns here that extend the wings even more. Uh, but, you know, that with the ones I got, 
Uh, I know there's a Shapeways kit out there that's going to have weapons for pretty much all the characters in this set, you know, besides Rodimus, because he's just a little headmaster. But that, that's pretty much it for the jet mode, and compared to Six Shot, I mean, yeah, that... I don't know. I, I really love the jet mode on both these guys. It, they both do things that the other does not, as far as the color layout. I do like here, though, how it all is that kind of green. You get a lot more, and it's not so broken up besides here and here. Then a few spots with the black and red, but looks really good. So let's go ahead and go, go, ahead and go on to the boat mode, which um, in that I'll show how to get a more accurate or, you know, a more boat-like mode. So let's go ahead and get into that submarine slash gun mode, and then we'll do that seventh mode that I found. And here we got the boat mode, or submarine mode, and it's still just as ridiculous and blatantly meant to be a gun. Now, again, I don't like how the legs are fully extended because they just droop a lot. But before we fix that, let's go ahead and take a look at them with six shot, and yeah, it's still the dumbest attempt or excuse of an attempt for a mode. Now it is a little bit more accurate for quick switch, but we will make that even more so here in just a moment. Uh, we've got some actual sticker details here, just these little red dots with some silver chrome outline. Uh, you got the guns here, just blank in there. So not much else revealed here. So let's go ahead and shorten the legs just so it looks a little bit better and there he is in blaster mode which you know doesn't look bad I mean it suits him somewhat I mean if you want to you can flip out the pins just like on six shot but I don't think I'm going to now for the more accurate looking boat mode, what we need to do is go ahead and flip these guns back in here. Just like that. Make sure it's all closed up. Bring these around. Rotate these to where the opening is facing up. Go ahead and rotate that like that. And there you've got the bow of the boat. Extend the Oh no, you want to rotate this around like this. Pretty much extend it for like it would be in vehicle mode. Leave these wheels up. Flip it around. Flip up. Extend. Plug that in. Now one thing I like to do is go ahead and bring out what will be the wolf claws. Bring them up to here. Just like that, just to have a little bit more detail on the front there. And bring down what would be the treads in tank mode. Then from here, go ahead and split the wings back. Pull up the head. Now, it's up to you how you do this. I mean, let's go ahead and put these guns back on. We'll go ahead and put them up like this. Just like right here. Or you could put them, you know, where they were in gun or submarine mode, but I think they look better up here. Now for here it's up to you what you want to do. I like having it either forward like that or having them flipped all the way back. I think it actually looks a little bit better like this. Now he looks a little bit more like a speedboat, but I, I usually keep the wheels like this just because, you know, they could be kind of like little paddles or something. Uh, you could easily just Go like this. But it also gives you a way to roll him around without scraping anything. So, yeah. I actually, yeah, I prefer it like this. Just a, a big boat, like a speed boat. So, if you want your quick switch to be a proper boat, this is probably the best way to do it. Just in my opinion. I mean, it, it works the best for me. You get these little wheels here, and then the one here, along with these ones. 
Uh, you can also flip these around to where they're facing straight down like that. Actually, that does look a lot better. But I like it facing up because it gives a downward thrust with these vents facing like that. So that, that's just how I like doing the boat mode. So let's go ahead and get these guys into wolf mode and go from there. Okay, so here in wolf mode, quick switch looks pretty great. I mean, it's not 100% accurate to how we're supposed to look, but you know, I, I do like, I know, I think he was supposed to be like a puma or something, some sort of big cat. Uh, but I, I really like how this turned out. The gray, just the way the color breaks up, again, just looks really good. On the head, though, I mean, with the headmaster in there, it blends in a lot better. You get some more of that green coming through like you do here on the side. The Both the Titan Master and the, you know, the head of the wolf are painted. Uh, the mouth's still open, so you can see that the it's actually just green plastic in there, so... I do really like those yellow eyes, they just pop so well. Now bringing in six shot, you can kind of see, you know, the headmaster doesn't really blend in all that well with the off-white plastic with that bright white paint and then the green sticking out, kind of like secondary pair of ears. Now to kind of differentiate these guys a little more, I do like folding these wings back and up. Just to give them more like a streamlined look and then maybe put the guns just right inside the wings just like that or even bringing them up this is one big cannon kind of reminds me of the zoids but yeah I mean and then you can fold these back too or even have them like that actually looks a little bit better for quick switch and all having these on like this for six shot. Maybe something more along the lines of that. So I mean there's plenty you can do to differentiate them in beast room mode, just like you would be able to in robot mode. So yeah, that's pretty much that for beast mode, wolf mode, tiger. I know at one point the Hasbro Ruff were calling this thing a tiger, so I don't know. Anyway, that pretty much does it for the wolf, beast, whatever mode. So let's go ahead and go on to robot mode. Alright, and robot mode. So, I, he's pretty much the exact same as Six Shot as far as all the molding goes. Now, originally, I believe he was supposed to actually have the retooled head. Uh, that's what it showed on the packaging and all the other promotional art. So I don't know what happened, whether it was a factory error or whether Hasbro just said, you know what, screw it, we'll just use the head he's already got, or the helmet. Uh, I know a lot of people are pretty much disappointed, or pretty disappointed by that. I mean, it's not a huge loss. I mean, the new face does look pretty good inside the helmet, but I agree. I mean, it would have been better to have that retooled helmet to more fit the character of Quick Switch, because that's the helmet that he had, or, you know, the head. Uh, but, you know, things happen. Hopefully, Dr. Wu or somebody makes a new helmet. I mean, it's easy just to slide it off and put a new one on. So, uh, as far as changes, uh, you don't have the, well, I'm saying uh, a lot. You do, you do not have the stickers here. You do have the ones right here. These are all just molded in gray instead of the molded black. You don't have anything down here for paint. Back here, it's all gray. You don't have those things there. You don't have the paint down here on the shins. Besides the windows, you do still have those. And the, the claws actually, or the paws actually blend in a little bit more, so I do like that. Get a little bit of paint up here. Big Autobot symbol right there in the middle of the chest. And bringing in his father, I mean, they can actually see the differences between the two. Now, one one thing I do like to do to differentiate them a little bit is open up the chest, fold these away, bring out the wings, kind of like give them that kind of seeker look, and actually leave those untabbed. 
kind of like that. And instead of having them hold the pistols, go ahead and put them right here on the wings. Now, no, it's not accurate to the character, but it's just something I like to do to differentiate them, differentiate them a little bit. I could also go ahead and just fold up these paws and give them little stubby feet. And real quick, we'll zoom in on the faces here so you can see the difference. I mean, this whole headpiece is remolded and it's hard to tell. I don't know if it's the same kanji or not right there. I mean, let's see. There's that. So that's the kanji for six. And nope, it is a different character, so. But you can see the newly molded face. That looks really good compared to that. I mean, this actually looks like a full-on head even without the top of it. But have it down or pretty much like that. Doesn't look too bad. So that pretty much does it for Quick Switch. Uh, final thoughts, I do like him. He is a great use of the mold, though I do hope Takara does Six Knight as well as uh, Great Shot. I would rather prefer Great Shot first. Uh, hopefully they remold the, the Rhino horns, and they'll have to do some remolding back here unless they make it flip out. I'm sure Takara will do it, so. You also need a remolded chest and different wings. But as far as Quick Switch goes, I really do enjoy this figure. I mean, for those who like Six Changers and the color scheme and just this mold in general, I'd say go ahead and get the box set. I mean,. We'll talk more about that in that video. So this has been Dalton at Dalton and CFs. Be sure to check out all the links down in the description, my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter page, as well as the Stasis Lock show every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, part of the Cool Table Network, so sit your ass down there. As well as check out Cybercast, which is, you know, its own entity, every other Saturday at... 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. It'll be on next week. So, not this upcoming week. It'll be the following week, which will be the... Yeah. So, that pretty much does it. And there goes Quick Switch. If you want to see the transformations, be sure to check out my review of Six Shot. It'll be in the description. So, check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.